A bird of prey is a bird that hunts with its feet, so that's how they're different from other birds, whereas a bird like a robin, you may think of as hunting for worms, but they're not actually killing the animal with their feet. Some of our birds are what we call um, static display, like, like our eagle or our vultures. They just hang out in their mew all day. A mew is what, where they live. And um, they kind of wait for us to come and give them food. And they sun, and they hang out, and they take a bath on nice days. And that's pretty much it. They pretty much do the same thing they would do in the wild. But here, they get their food brought to them. For a bird like Blaze, who goes out on programs, sometimes she has a program to go out on. And uh, so she'll go out and teach kids all about birds of prey and her species and why they're important to the environment. Um, so for her, her training is that she comes to me every day to get her food. So she, her day is a little bit broken up from just sitting around and kind of doing nothing, which is what birds of pre prey pretty much do in the wild also, is they're pretty static birds. They sit there and then they hunt. They're not gonna extend energy that they don't have to. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Free flight is a very, you need a lot of trust in your bird. For her, she was hit by a car. She can extend her wing mostly, so she can do some flight in her, in her mew, but she can't uh, have long flights. Um, so we wouldn't be able to fly a bird like Blaze. <laughs> they are as graceful as they are in the air. They're equally non-graceful on the land. So I just gave him his day old chicken. The birds that are more common are going to be the ones that can adapt well to being in such a rural area. We have these areas where there are lots of woods and things that the, these birds are do well with, but then we put roads through them and that's when they get hit by cars and run into buildings and things like that and um, we take away their space and then they don't have as much area. I know that the kestrel is um, taking a big hit because of pesticides and unfortunately with pesticide use that's causing not only harm to the things like bees but even bigger predators like kestrels. Like any animal in the wild they all have their their little spot and what they help do. Um, these guys they cut down on rodents greatly. People don't like rodents they don't want them in their houses. Little smaller mammals that get in your garden and eat your plants and all these things that people don't want to happen so then you end up with an imbalance. So these guys as predators, you need them. 